Hey everyone, it's your girl Ayana or Artful Aya. Today I'm back with the video. I'm going to be opening this package from Amazon I bought a while ago. It is a tripod, so I have a new angle for my video today. So I'm going to do a little review of it and you guys are going to watch me paint a rolling tray. So yeah, let's get into it. So in the bag along with the tripod is the instructions. It also has the phone clip. Um, in my hand I have the Bluetooth remote instructions and then the Bluetooth remote. You can, it really works. <laughs> I tested it out as you can see. But yeah, so I'm just gonna read over the instructions and figure out which piece controls what and set it up. So the legs extend out and it goes up to 50 inches. So I'm just extending and um, clipping the legs just to see how tall it gets. And then I'm gonna install the phone clip by twisting it on. And I was trying to figure out how to do the 90 degrees and I was twisting the wrong one. <laughs> So I had to reread the instructions and like really follow along. But yeah, it's pretty easy to set up and read the instructions. So yeah, here's the tray. And I'm going to get right into it by cutting out this Bob Marley picture. I use an X-Acto knife to cut literally everything out. Um, because I didn't know how to draw him accurately and I wanted this to be really really accurate I did not want to <laughs> mess this up anyhow I Also, I was giving it to someone as a gift, so I really wanted to make sure it was right. So I literally cut out everything. You see his nose. <laughs> so once you keep watching, you're literally going to be like, oh my gosh, she's dissecting him. And yes, yes I am. <laughs> I think the hardest part of this was the hand. Um, I couldn't really get it right the first few times, so it was a lot of erasing and retracing. Um, but yeah, I think in the end it still turned out fine because you can tell it's a hand, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I really liked tracing this and drawing this in general. Um, I guess my phone didn't get the clip of me drawing the quote on the side, so sorry about that, but right here I'm redoing his locks because I realized that he didn't have that many locks. Um, they were really like conjoined, um, so I was writing ones and E's 
like one as in all of these are going to be one lock um and e as in this is empty space so yeah i then started painting the background first and i was getting a lot of paint on my arm <laughs> but um i'm gonna let this dry and then come back to it again to add another layer and start on the locks On the reference picture that I had, I drew out the shapes of the light and dark tones on his face and his hands so that I can get the most accurate picture. Um, and I put it on the tray as best as I could because I didn't want to trace that either or like cut them out. So I did three tones, light, medium, and dark so that it can be a difference in the tones and give it a little more depth rather than just making it all gray or yeah so I think that that really just made it pop because you can really see the variation of colors and you know I also didn't want to do a skin tone I was like at first I was going to and I'm like mm, no let's just stick to the black and white color because I really wanted the um quote to pop out more So here's what the tray looks like. This is the before. 
And now I'm going to add the resin. This is not an accurate way of putting, making resin or putting it on a tray at all. <laughs> Honestly, I was winging it. Um, I didn't measure it accurately. Um, well, I kind of did because it did harden the way that it's supposed to. It wasn't sticky at all. So I was quite impressed by my eyeballing skills. You know, I had to give myself a little props with that one. But yeah, this is not at all an accurate way to be measuring hardener or resin. Nor should you be using knives. I mean, hey, I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, I have to get this done. I don't have the tools necessary, but I'm going to use what I got. I'm gonna do the best with what I got, you know? So, yeah. I think it came out really cute after, though. So, hey, I ain't no shame in my game. I'm gonna spread it how I want to. But it was quite messy, not gonna lie. But this is the after. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.